Equity. 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 Well, we have like a big population, so there's definitely two people who have things in common, which I think is really good for people to make friends and for everyone to just have fun and learn. And for it to be improved, I guess just really like find a way for people to see who else is, has things in common with them and see what they can do to make more friends and just be happier. <laughs> Welcome. Welcome. Welcome to our school. We are Tanabue Farhangi. We are athletic. Nous sommes unique. Great Wilson is a sport for everybody in all ages, so no matter what you play, you can always be active. One reason why I really like Korean is because of all the school spirit and pride we have. Six. Um, everyone is so inclusive and just they really like people that are their have their own personality and individuality is really, really accepted here. Um, people are just generally nice here and I love it. I can see you crying out there. Is there anybody out there? And your love's still struggling out there But you act like you don't care Right now she could really use a shoulder Hanging on to the edge till it's over She's crying for your love tonight Only it's hard to survive, she said uh, I'm Nathan Bateman and I came to the school Expecting really not much Pretty similar to the elementary school But it's a lot different Especially in how they treat diverse people Not only in culture and race But also in how we act The kind of things we like from the few months that I've been here, I got here in September, um, what I've noticed is that Longfields is a very, very diverse population culturally. Um, I have, I've had a few classes where there isn't a majority and there isn't a minority, it's basically one or two of everybody, so that's kind of a nice aspect to the school. Um, I've also noticed that because of the diversity, the students are more aware of different cultures and, and how different cultures interact with each other. And the students take the time to get to know each other, and I think that's one of the best ways to really promote equity and inclusion in any school. Inclusion in the Ridgemont is very visible throughout all the colors throughout the school, all the welcome signs and all how people are just accepting. Our school is like one big family where people support each other and there's a lot of like GSA and like Pink Day and all that and there's a, a lot of a lot of like community and family involved within all like accepting people whether you're Chinese or you're Asian or you're black or you're even you're you're Muslim, you're Jew, you're Hindu, whatever, anything, any religion or whatever, you're exclusively accepted for who you are. The fact that it can be diverse and inclusive to everybody, and it focuses on your own needs and what you need. When I look at it from my students' perspective, I think that we have gained a lot of equity and respect in the school from administration, from teachers, from students. But we're not there yet. And I think that as years go by and we increase in our uh, interactions with the rest of the school, we will get more and more equity and respect. I think the things that really help us in that, in that aspect are to get involvement from student body. So uh, the Best Buddies program which we've, which we've had here has doubled in the last two years. That's a lot of people who are now involved with us. We've had a sports event that we hosted 
that student body was invited to, so they interacted with us. We've got teachers who take us into our classrooms and we do mixed group activities together. Those are the things that I think are going to change that little piece that's left in the school body that needs to change.